Hello everyone, my name is Diana Dietrich. I'm the marketing specialist here at Swish Technologies and I'll be your moderator for uh, this session. Thanks for joining us today for uh, Mastering Bomb Management, the first in our new webinar series to find uh, Team Center. Our new series showcases information and tips and features um, within Team Center to help you better understand executing in the PDM system. I wanted to start off with a, a quick poll um, and it is, uh, are you using any type of product data management system? So I'm going to uh, leave this up for about 20 seconds. If you guys could go ahead and just uh, answer that for us. Ten more seconds. Okay, and three, two, one. All right, and it looks like 50% uh, of us are using uh, a PDM system and about 39 aren't. So that's good, that's good. Um, do that. So um, just a little bit about Swoosh before we get started. For over 10 years, we've been a leading provider and partner of Siemens PLM. Our team is dedicated in providing you the best software and support necessary to optimize excellence in your processes. Also, we're committed to tailoring to you process-based training solutions. Our instructors have meticulously designed courses that are tailored to your workflow, so uh, thus it changes the way designers and manufacturers are learning and leveraging PLM tools without the traditional classroom uh, setting for PLM. Presenting today is application engineer Sam Estrada. With a career spanning nearly two decades, Sam is a leading application engineer with Swish Technologies and a certified Team Center specialist. His focus is to help your team collaborate more effectively while accelerating industry design processes throughout your product life cycle. So today's, uh, today's topic is on bomb management. How well are you managing your product? Whether your product consists of a few or a large array of parts, bomb management is a critical component to your company's success. As your product mix grows, so does the complexity in managing it, keeping the struggle to maintain uh, an accurate product definition a, a pretty big challenge for your company. Sam will be showing us the tips and available options and features that can help you better understand how to successfully manage your products more effectively for bomb management. With that being said, I have one final po poll question for us, and it's um, how many systems are you employing to initiate and complete a change and update to your product? So if you wanted to make a change to a system or to a part, how many different programs are you jumping through in order to get through that? Um, so I uh, just brought that up for you guys. If you guys could just answer that, um, uh, I'll leave it up for about 20 seconds. Ten more seconds. And done. All right, let's, let's share the results real quick. So about 71% of you are about one to three, and uh, some are three to four, but luckily nobody has to go through seven or more steps, so that's awesome. So um, if you have any questions um, during the webinar, please feel free to add these into the questions box uh, located in your GoToWebinar panel. Sam will then have your questions answered during the Q&A portion taking place right after the presentation. All right, Sam, take it away. Okay, thanks, Diana. So like uh, Diana was saying, we're going to be focusing on build material. There's a quick little agenda how we're going to go through. Um, right now, complexity is increasing everywhere, from products to their life cycles to their supply chains and customer requirements to even your own internal organizational changes. Companies find themselves struggling with a main to maintain accurate product definition with everybody in the company. To manage this complexity, you need to control control of your bomb. Don't believe me? Well, just take a look at these two quotes that I got from uh, Aberdeen, the Aberdeen Group, and Gardner. The very top one, the Aberdeen Group, responding to a growing complexity. The quote, you know, those who fail to adopt a good bomb management inefficiencies and delays in their product development. So taking control of your bomb, as well as you know, is, is quite a quite a bit of a task, a challenge, and Team Center can help bring you bring that under control for you. 
So out of the box, Team Center, you know, if you've seen some of our other webinars, we're familiar with the Team Center product base. Bomb management is available with either out of the box Team Center or the Rapid Start configuration. It's part of the green boxes up at the top, on the top center of uh, Team Center's portfolio. And with this, we can help you take control and maintain your bomb definition. So with Team Center, we help you know your product. You know, whether the product consists of 10 parts, single configuration, managed with a simple and basic processes of the tools, or, or more complex products containing millions of parts requiring more advanced tooling, flexibility, and scalability. Here we're talking about, you know, probably 100,000 configurations or so. Team Center will help take control of these and help you manage and manage your product, and especially your bomb. Today we'll look at three key areas on how Team Center helps you control and manage your bomb your bomb. So we'll take a look at a bomb definition and configuration, the working context, and some extended bomb support available for you inside Team Center. So let's start off with bomb with uh, define and configure. Today bomb information is often spread across multiple systems, databases, and spreadsheets. While some organizations have consolidated into a single system, data and processes for different groups are still managed as disconnected data. Keeping this disconnect, this, uh, this separate information in sync up to date and accurate is costly, error prone, and awfully a manual process. Today's market demands more advanced, varied product offerings. Company, companies are challenged to meet their customer demands for more variety without driving up development costs. Manage increased complexity of products, dependencies, and options constraints that impact all valid product configurations adds to this challenge. One reason is, there are silos of bomb information that different groups within your organizations have different organizations that have different needs when it comes to defining a bomb. There is no one size fits all. So Team Center is flexible to support different strategies for bomb definitions. You can easily find existing bombs, carrying them forward with pertinent information. Bombs can be automatically captured from their CAD data from any of our out-of-the-box CAD integrations. So Solid Edge, NX, Pro-E, run the gamut, we can automatically capture that, that CAD structure and import it into Team Center as a bomb. Proven structures can be used as templates, allowing creation of new bomb based, bomb creation based off of a template. This helps you reuse best practices and enforce standards. Bomb information can be imported from an export, can be imported and exported to an Excel spreadsheet. You can also use a unique uh, capability with Team Center called Excel Live. This integration allows you to edit your bomb live in Excel and import and make the changes within Team Center. The key, as, as Team Center bouts the, key, the boast, is the key to eliminating your silos is to create a complete bomb within Team Center. Team Center, you can manage your product structure, however simple or complex, but for a complete bomb information, you kind of need more. Every component of bomb, and you'll see this within Team Center, every component of bomb has associated content that various people in your organization need. You can manage all the related stuff from cost, mass information of a part, to the associated suppliers, requirements, documents, etc. for every component. Every user has the accurate information when they need it at their fingertips. And this is what Team Center brings to you. As soon as you go in and you search for a part, you'll see all the relative, the relative media or data that's associated with that part in one single spot. So as we look at the challenge of bond management and meeting uh, the customer's demand for more variety without driving up developmental costs, we find ourselves trying to innovate, innovate in today's market We find the best way to deliver new product offerings, derivatives from a single platform, common product structures and technologies and automated process. Let's take a look at how a digital camera is put together, for instance. You can define the features of the product that you wish to offer to your customers. In this example, we have a list of possible camera options, each of which has different, well, has several different selections. You can define a generic product structure reflecting, all include, reflecting an all-inclusive bomb that contains every single possible option. In Team Center, we consider this a 150% bomb because it has every single integration of the camera. Then we can go ahead and build in rules to help specify which features you wish to allow, to restrict, to be selected, to be selected together even, 
This helps your customers or your field engineers make better product decisions based on the options and rules offered. Here we've defined some constraints for the various camera, op camera options. We've applied some generic product structure. We've applied them to the generic product structure. All of these help define a product family from which you can support frequent enhancements, derivatives, offer niche offerings, and much more. Here you can see there's two specific product variants for the camera. We have a fun shot camera and a professional camera. Now you could go in or add a lot more different various options. With bomb configuration and team center, you can manage variability, offer more product variety to meet a broader range of customer requirements without driving up costs, increase market share and product revenues by facilitating mass customization, quickly refresh the product with new technology and design content and support your sales and marketing. But bomb, configure is just, bomb configuration is just merely more than just variability. Team Center also helps you manage effectivity by date, unit, plant, and much more to ensure that you have a 100% accurate bomb all the time. So we talked about managing a complete bomb in all its variations. And you can see that's a lot of information. With bomb analysis capabilities, you're, you have the visibility to understand the bomb information at any stage. Bomb markup capabilities enable you to capture markups from multiple users, which can be reviewed and approved before applying. Bomb rollup, another tool we can use, will help you understand things like cost and weight of your product. We can also perform a where use report to help you clearly understand the impact of a change to a specific part or product. Bomb comparisons can be either graphical or text-based. They will help you understand how, how you got there and where you are and help identify where you need to go and if you need to go back if necessary and much more. A spatial search is a unique search in Team Center that allows you to search, this search capability allows you to look at information based off of relative size or location of a current part that you have selected. Again, trying, you know, Team Center allows you to find the information that you need fairly quickly. Next, I'm going to show you a quick little video that kind of illustrates each one of these. So as I go off to the next slide, I am going to hover over right down in here. There we go. We have control of my pause. So in this video, you're going to see how Team Center manages all the stuff that's associated with the part, everything that's related to it, from basic descriptions to attached documents that are associated with the part. Etc. So here I can see that this part is actually a Pro-E part. There's the CAD model, my JT file, any sort of associated documentation, where it's being used, any structure, any bond structure that it currently belongs to at the moment, any history, so any re current revisions, previous revisions, change information. All this data is related back to my part, and all that data is stored inside Team Center. So I can even get vendor information you know, requirements if need be, they're associated with this part. All this information, you know, from the change tab to the history to the attachment tab, all this information is associated with the part. So this is just some of the examples of all the information that will be tracked, not only with the part, but in every bomb that I create and insert this part into. So let's take a look at the bomb right quick and I'll advance the I'll advance the video here without advancing the slide. Let's see, here we go. Perfect. So let's take a look at this part inside the bomb. So if I go over and switch over, we got something called the structure editor. I go in and be able to take a look at, you know, where this thing's being used. And this is the way it looks inside Team Center. Over here on the left hand side, we can see the intended product structure as it is at this moment. So this could be coming out of CAD or this could be a view that somebody had created either in design or in the engineering spot. We can take a look at all the parts that are included in this bomb. We can expand different sub-assemblies. As you know, navigate through the structure, we can select or deselect components and view the geometry on the right-hand side of the screen. You can select components in the JT side representation over there on the right, and they'll actually highlight in the product structure on the left. So as I turn the video back on, you'll see that I can collapse and expand. I can also interrogate additional information. So if I click on a part, you can see it highlights on the right. If I highlight it on the right, it'll highlight on the left, vice versa. I can interrogate additional information. So 
from this part here, I can look at the attachments and I can see it's a Pro E part. While another part in the structure, it will come from NX. So if I go in and select another one, there's my NX part. You can have, you can manage your complete bomb definition along with geometry regardless of the CAD tool that was, being, that was authored in. Here we can see the bill of material. Here we can see this bill of material and I can actually, with team, with team Center's capability, I can look at all the variations. In this example, there's two different truck variations that I can, that I can go through or two different truck models that I can search through. Currently, in, currently it's being shown that I only want to see, I've got T6 components, and if I only want to see all the components that belong to the truck in the T6 configuration, I can quickly go in and highlight and tell Team Center just to display all the T6 components. As you can see, once I selected the T6 components, some of the other components that belong to the T8 disappeared. And I can quickly go in there and cycle through both of them and look at different variations that I have, all coming from either a single bomb structure, just depending on what the variant, varying conditions I set. So I can easily run a, so I can go in there knowing that I have two different variations of my product, I can, or my truck, I can quickly go in there and run what we call a bomb compare between the two highlighted structures. So in this case, I'll load the T8 and the T6, and I'll actually split the screen inside my structure manager viewing the exact same bomb, just both configurations. So we'll take a look, we'll split the screen here in a sec. There's my T8, looked at my T6, split the screen, now I have the same bomb, just one showing one variant, one showing the other. I can run the, the bomb compare, and it'll highlight all the components that are different. So Team Center delivers this variety out of the box, you know, variety out of the box bomb reports, from bomb roll-ups to this uh, bomb compare to even visual graphical comparisons that we can do from assembly to assembly. So not only do I, can I compare the actual text, I can also compare the two different configurations I've set up for myself inside Team Center. Another powerful capability is that within the actual structure manager, I can go in and either add or remove parts. So I can do visual markup, I can do markups within the bomb list. And I can actually go in and interrogate each one of the parts and do, you know, copy, do a where use. I could also add the components into my bomb list. So I can effectively manage my list from this single screen without having to jump from product to product or having to, you know, interrupt other people as they're doing their job. Over here, all the information is given to me, displayed, all in one single spot, and everybody's working off the same list. As I generate one new list, I can send it off and set it up. Other people can work off of it. Once I can even send this through a workflow. Once it gets approved, this list can be finalized, and I can move on to a different part of production. So in summary, your bomb definition and configuration in Team Center can ensure accurate Accuracy and completeness for all those who interact with the bomb. So reduced errors and rework, improve product success, and maximize efficiency in all the bomb processes. Now let's look at working context. This is working within the bomb, kind of what we saw in the video, but a little more in depth here. So there are many groups of information looking at different information from a complete, you know, looking for information to form a complete product bomb. You have the requirements. You know, they're driven by customers, regulators in your business, or really an influencer there. You have a concept, people who work in R&D and uh, prototyping, they need information to be captured and maintained throughout the design of the product. And then you have the design people who need their own views, so they need their engineering bomb, they need to keep track of geometry specifications. They need to keep track of their view, many views, and then you have planning. They need to get, you know, their information coming off their own view, and then you have the actual product, the build of your product. They have to have their own bomb view, which they can go in and interrogate and keep track of. The breadth and depth of the information has to be managed to form a complete bomb definition, and all its variance through the trial life cycle can be overwhelming. So, I mean, there's quite a few different people looking into this. A single source for all your bomb information can pose a challenge for these individual groups to get their job done. If you don't have Team Center, you don't have a PDM, you can actually relate to this. The information cluster leads to confusion, time wasted, information 
you know, that's probably irrelevant if everybody's running their own spreadsheet can lead to costly mistakes and delays. Team Center allows Team Center enables users to work in a role or a life cycle based off of the views so they have access to the information that is most important to them. In this example, we'll take a look at a couple of these views or bomb views. As conceived, you know, this shows a product concept of all its requirements. As designed, this would be a CAD-centric product-based view of the BOM and a manufactured. As manufactured, this includes any process information. So as you look at this slide, it's very important to keep in mind that these are different views of a single source of BOM information. It's not, sta not static, independent representations of the BOM. All this refers back to the single source of information. So everybody's looking at the same engine block. You know, between the concept and the manufacturing side, you'll have all the exact same information. So the challenge is made for, so if a change is made, for example, a designer needs to modify a particular assembly. The impact of the change is clearly understood across all aspects of the product. Team Center supports controlled synchronization across the bomb views. This reduces duplicate parts and effort, duplicate parts and efforts, and eliminates errors due to out-of-date information. It ensures that everybody is working on the correct version at that right time. Impact analysis can be run and provide a clear understanding of the change so you can make better decisions with accurate information. Accountability checks eliminate the need for manual accountability and time-consuming time consuming processes. When you work in context, you want, it's always about a particular life cycle or role. It's about what you want to get done to get your job done. It's about what you need to get your job done. Team Center provides flexibility in the way individuals and groups manage and relate the work their work data, ensuring that every participant can work most effectively. Now, what does that mean? It means that you can create context-based role, context-based on role, on user, function, etc. So if the guy or a team is working on the electrical component, he can define a context that includes only the electrical components and easily share that context with the others. If another person is working on a particular section of the ship and need to search for all the items specified within the proximity and include only those items available in their context, the possibilities can be endless in how you share this information. We provide the flexibility to work in context, whatever the context might be. One success story that we have is that the Mars rover Curiosity landed on the surface of Mars a little while back. When NASA was working on this, we pretty much had one chance to get it right. So that was quite a bit of a challenge for them. So they turned to Siemens for some PLM software to help find a solution for their problem. Development team at NASA's Jet Proportion Laboratory digitally tested, designed, assembled, and simulated the entire Mars rover in a, without even building a single physical prototype. With a fully integrated bomb and help with Team Center, they digitally simulated and validated in context and reduced any errors whenever they built a physical prototype. With the capabilities such as repeatable digital validation, integrated clearance analysis, process simulation, path planning, space claim that are available inside Team Center. They supported an accurate analysis across the product life cycle. So by working in context, some of the benefits that are associated with it, you can improve collaboration and productivity, eliminate, duplicate, and reduce mistakes, and reduce the physical prototypes needed and cost downstream. The last area we'll look at is extended bomb support. This is very important on the very, you know, on the end of the life cycle, different things like that. So many, uh, for most companies, product engineering and bro uh, production bomb information are disconnected. Oftentimes these bombs are out of date, out of sync, you know, leading to costly mistakes and reworking delays. It's difficult to track failing or recalled parts to maintain exact records of physical product and content for compliance purposes to ensure adherence to warranty conditions and accuracy, you know, and accurately record prototype build and test information. Team Center enables you to effectively manage essential product bomb definitions beyond the design and engineering to include the entire life cycle of the bomb. This extended support, this extended support includes things like prototype bombs, managing your prototype configurations to define what parts are needed for a prototype or a build for a specific date, operations release, 
you know, the exact date of the engineering change that was incorporated into a production to a specific plant. Production forecasts, you know, when you define a part that's needed to build, say, you know, 10,000 or 5,000 of a product in XYZ configuration for a specific plant and time period. And as an as-build bomb, you know, where you capture the record of a physical parts being used in a particular product. This extended lifecycle support enables you to link traditionally to separate worlds of virtual and physical product information, eliminating costly mistakes due to out-of-date or incorrect information. You can ensure that you're executing against your plan so that your parts are right, so you have the right parts at the right time, eliminating costly scrap and rework. So within Team Center, you can maintain an accurate record of the physical structure for every for complete tr part traceability through your as-built bomb. This accurate record of physical product enables you to track a part complete heritage of how the part was designed, what the supplier did, when we got a particular part from the supplier, what was the lot number, what was the serial number. All this is traced through the bombs as you share the information between either internally or externally with your suppliers. This traceability can help, can help you minimize the number of unit recalls to only the affected parts that are being recalled, process, you know, process customer warranties a little more effectively, and efficiency rapidly pass warranty claims through suppliers and support regulatory comply audits by meeting product history and disposal requirements. So by having all these bombs aligned and using Team Center makes this warranty process and the warranty recall your life a heck of a lot easier. And the other side too is we have different systems. As you know, through today's global market you rely on a number of enterprise level systems, manual movement of pertinent product information between your PLM or other systems can be a time consuming and error prone process. Keeping all this data in sync you know, when a change is made is pretty challenging. Team Center is a very open application. We can integrate to other business systems and automate the exchange process. And by automating the exchange process, this eliminates costly and time consuming errors that are pretty much error prone to manual copying, data entry, or loss of information from one system to another. So as we tie in physically, say into ERP, your CRM program, the information that you update in your BOM will automatically get pushed out as we integrate to these different products. So by extending the, by having the extended BOM support, the benefits that you get is you eliminate rework and costly mistakes, reduce warranty and maintenance claims with an as-built BOM management that you have put in place, and you reduce the time and error with automatic interchange of information with essential business programs, you know, like CRE, uh, like what we were just saying with the ERP system especially. So in summary, whenever you do use and utilize the tools of, you know, bomb management within Team Center, you can go beyond the design and engineering, you know, for a greater business impact at your, at your organization, maximize the productivity of everybody who interacts with your bomb, and ensure the accuracy and completeness for all those who interact with the bomb through Team Center. So with that, Diana, I will open it up to questions. So um, our, our queue is pretty heavy with questions today, so we're not going to be able to answer all of them. So um, if your question isn't answered, please know that I'll send all the questions over to Sam and he'll get in touch with you. So um, if you do have any questions, just make sure to just add them all in and I'll make sure to um, send them over to him. So Sam, the first question um, that we have is, does the bond list generate from my CAD model? Yes, yes. So as I was saying earlier, like, Whenever uh, you have the, any any integration that goes into Team Center, especially come from the CAD side, so Solid Edge, NX, Pro E, SolidWorks, anything like that, whenever you save that structure or you save that assembly up in the Team Center, you automatically get a bomb structure created or a list created inside Team Center. That list then, say in the assembly list, would be your CAD bomb per se. And as that list changes within CAD, it automatically updates the list and the way it was structured inside Team Center. So there's a direct correlation, and even some of the SWIM products have a uh, bi-directional control. Uh, some of the, so if I change the product in uh, CAD and update it, my bomb list will update inside Team Center. I could also go inside Team Center and add a couple of components and 
update the bomb list there and that change would actually get forced back into the CAD system so the next time I open it up I'd have new components in there. So it's very it's a very robust system the way it is there. But yeah, so it the CAD part, the CAD assembly and this CAD structure is derived directly from the model. Another question we have in the queue, Sam, is um, can I export the bomb list in Excel? Yes, yes, and that was on the other slide. You, what you can do is you can grab, you can create the structure. So either from CAD or within Team Center, go into the structure manager and add all the items there. You can do what we call an export to a live Excel Excel spreadsheet. So you can actually go and use the Microsoft Office integration in the Team Center and export your bomb list live into Excel. That way you can do quicker edits if you're used to Excel, copy paste or different functions, conditional formatting, things like that. You can quickly do those inside Excel and save those and those changes will get applied to the list that's being displayed inside Team Center. There's also an export capability where you can just take a snapshot of the existing list in Team, uh, that's being shown in Team Center. It exports out to a regular spreadsheet. The only thing is that there's some conditional formatting that is added to it to make navigating through sub-assemblies and top-level assemblies. Each one of the items is indented and makes navigating through those much easier and quicker. Um, another question that we have is, uh, if there's a component that doesn't exist in the CAD model, can I add it to a bomb list? Yes, yeah, like I, like I was saying earlier, the uh, if uh, I created a CAD model, an assembly inside my, uh, say, Solid Edge, save it up, and I'm looking at the product structure inside Team Center, what I can do is I can look for, uh, say, a standard part, paint, uh, or in actually another CAD model, too. I can search for that in Team Center and then reference, pretty much copy that reference link out of Team Center and paste it into my product structure, and it becomes part of my bomb. So that's how you can quickly create, you know, your uh, the different types of bombs you want, E-bomb, C-bomb, M-bomb, things like that. Okay, I'm going to ask one final question because I'm kind of curious about this one too. Um, what's the difference between an M-bomb and an E-bomb? Oh, okay. So you have a, when there, in Team Center were some areas that got what they call M-bombs and those are manufacturing bill of materials and then you have a... Uh, bomb which is an engineering bill of materials and in team center whenever you or in solid edge whenever or any CAD product whenever you save a structure in the team center we call that a, a bomb so a CAD bomb generates directly from the actual CAD product an engineering bomb could be a list that the engineers make to list every single component that's used in that product so as me as a designer, I could probably just design this. I'll take a look at an example of a paper cup. I can design the paper cup with the, you know, the paper walls and the bottom side, and I could save that as my catch structure. An engineering bomb would then include the labeling, anything that necessarily wouldn't get designed or created or marked up inside CAD. The engineering department or person in charge of the engineering bomb would add every single component that is needed to make that cup. They could also go ahead and make what we call a, you know, make, create a 150% bomb where they would add various configurations to that e-bomb. So they would have their own list that is interlinkable to the actual CAD bomb. And then as he saves it and he just passes it off to manufacturing, well, the manufacturing guy, he likes his bombs created in process of manufacturing, how it's going to get built out in the assembly line. So what he'll do is create a list or copy from one list to another, but he'll create his own list based off of what engineering gave him because engineering has all the components to make the paper cup. He'll start creating his own list by dragging and dropping the reference links from the engineering bomb and put them in process of assembly. So he may start with the bottom side, you know, the cap on the bottom because that will probably get produced first. And in his assembly line, the machine that makes those is first. Next machine is the actual roll of paper where he you know, the raw material and he allocates for the circumference of the cup and he gets the material to make that and next it goes to the roller and then he puts in, say, the paint from the engineering bomb, puts that into his list. So he, now he has his own manufacturing list as it's going to get assembled. Uh, the engineer has his list, which is all the components and CAD has their list. And as any one of since all the lists point to the same single point of information, 
is just listing them in different orders. As I change it in CAD, it updates in both the engineering bomb list and the manufacturing bomb list. That way I don't have to go in there and recreate all the list over and over again. So CAD bomb is comes out of CAD. E bomb is your engineering bomb put together by your engineer, and your M bomb is your manufacturing bomb put together by your manufacturing engineer for a list of processes on how it's going to get assembled. Thanks, Sam. That's it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Anything to add? No. <laughs> um, so thanks, Sam. So unfortunately, guys, we are out of time for today. Um, but if you uh, need to reach out to us to get some answers uh, to your questions and everything, please don't hesitate to contact us. For any further questions about working uh, in bomb management, uh, reach out to Sam by phone or by email. He's more than happy to help. Uh, for any uh, other types of questions or anything, please feel free to reach out to me and I'll get you in contact with our sales team here at Swoosh. If you're already in contact with one of our sales reps, here, please feel free to reach out to them as well. Either way, we're all more than happy to help with any questions that you may have. Um, once again, thanks so much, guys, for attending our Teen Center session today. Be sure to be on the lookout for an email to register for the next session in our series that's coming up uh, within the next uh, a month or two. So, um, oh, and also be on the lookout for an email uh, to view a replay of today's webinar if you'd like. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.